Hey guys, in this Effect House tutorial, I want to show you how you can create your own LUT filter in Effect House for TikTok. I will yeah, guide you through step by step how to create a LUT and I will also provide you some files you can download for free so you are able to create a LUT filter like this. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create this LUT filter for TikTok here in the Effect House Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Effect House, we have to make sure that we create our LUT file that we will use here in the Effect House Studio. If you already know how you can create a LUT file, so you can skip this section, but if not, just follow me along. I have created a download folder for you, which you can download for free to follow along this tutorial. So yeah, just go to the description and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox site. Here just click on download and download the entire folder. In the folder you will find some example XMP files, a final LUT file, then the LUT.png, the neutral LUT where we will apply our settings and the LUT.bsd file. I will create the file in Photoshop, but of course you can use any other program where you can um, yeah, apply some settings to your file, for example GIMP or also Lightroom. So then you will just open the LUT.png file in Photoshop or your program of choice or just open the LUT.bsd file. So then we have our neutral LUT in here and now we can play around with the settings. For this we go to the, to the bar above the, the program and here we click on filter. And here we will find the camera raw filter. So after the camera raw is lo loaded we can apply some settings here. For example we can adjust the contrast of our file and also the saturation and we can go more in depth by yeah, just changing the color settings. For example we can change the saturation of the yellow so we can make sure that there is no not that much yellow in the in the image, also the greens and also the blues and everything else. So yeah, just play around um, until you have your right settings. But of course you can also um, yeah, insert your XMP file. For example, if you have downloaded a Lightroom preset, you can also insert this. So for this, you just click on the three dots on the right side of the camera raw window. And here you just click on load settings. And then for example, you can choose one of the example XMP files I have yeah, provided you. For example, I will open the, XMP, the example1.xmp file. And then the settings are loaded and we are good to go. So after this is done, just export this file as a PNG file and we are good to go to start here in the Effect House Studio. So after you have created your LUT file and you have exported it as a PNG, we can import it here into the Effect House Studio. For this we go to our left hand side to our assets panel and click here on import. Then we search for our LUT file. For example, I will use the final LUT.bng file. You can um, of course also use this. It is also in the download folder and then click on open. Now we have to do a really important step because we have to set the compression of our LUT file to none. For this, we select the LUT file here in our assets panel, go to the right hand side and here we set the compression type to none. So the next step is to apply our LUT here over our picture. For this we go um, up to our scene panel. Here we click also on the plus and here we have to select post effect and here filter. After we have done this there will be a new window here in our scene panel and there will, is also already a filter applied here. But this is not our filter, this is just an example filter of the Effect House Studio. So then we just select our filter in the scene bundle, go to the right hand side and here at LUT texture, we click here on texture where the bright LUT texture is already set. And then when we click on this, we can here select our final LUT PNG file and hit OK. And then our LUT is applied. You can also set the intensity here 
or you can also do some additional color correction here with the filter object. So yeah, now we are ready. We have created our own LUT filter here in the Effect House Studio and we are good to go to yeah, submit it to TikTok. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.